college algebra class that is going to be new next year. So some of you are taking it as a replacement to advanced algebra 2, and it will count as an advanced algebra 2 credit, okay? And then some of you are taking it as a fourth math, which counts as an advanced fourth math, and so either way you're getting the weighted points for the math class, okay? Um, we're going to look at the first sheet first, and I'm going to go over some of this information. So the point of you choosing to take this class is to get a high school math credit that's required, but also to get a college math credit. Um, registration, if you signed up for this class, if you're in here right now and it's on your course registration for next year, that is your registration. There's nothing else that you need to do. You don't need to apply to a specific college. Nothing. You are registered for the class if it's on your course or question. Okay? Um, there is not a textbook, so you don't have to purchase a textbook. There's no additional fee or materials as far as that goes. The cost for the class is on this sheet, so it is $149. That's the entire year, and that is all. There's no additional fee for a textbook or anything like that. If you are on reduced lunch, then that goes down to $75. If you're on free lunch, then it will be $50. You actually have to apply for the free or reduced lunch and decode that in order to get that price. Payment will not be due until next school year, okay? So they will probably kind of wait and get everything started and then bill you like in September and then it will be expected to pay like by the end of October. You can set up a payment plan. The details of that has not been determined yet, but it will next year, okay? And it will be communicated, but you can at least kind of know the cost of, of the course. Okay, so again, by taking this class, you are having the opportunity to get a high school and a college math credit. So you actually receive two different grades. You'll receive a high school grade, and you'll receive a college grade. And so Ms. Barthold, who will be the teacher for the on-ramps college algebra class, she will be doing the high school grades, and then she is working along with a UT math professor who is doing the college grades, okay? If you're a 504 student and you have 504 accommodations, then she as your teacher will know that. That will get communicated to the UT professor, and so all those accommodations will be followed, okay? The grades will look a little bit different. So Ms. Barcold, as she's keeping the high school grades, is, she's most likely going to have more grades in the grade book than the college side. Okay, so you're typically when this you have this class, your college and your high school grade are not the same. They're different. Because the college has a lot fewer grades and they're weighted differently. Okay? When you look in this syllabus, it tells exactly from the college side what they're going to grade, what the percentage of grades, how much weight it all counts for. So this is, I know this is lengthy, but this is important to read through so you know you can read the topic and what the expectations will be. Okay? So our goal for this class is that, yes, it's like a little bit scary because this is a brand new thing. But in the past, we have offered dual credit college algebra, which was just an online class. We didn't have a professor who came and taught it. And so you essentially, if you took that, you had to teach yourself. And we did not have great success with that. And so we are extremely excited to get to offer this because you'll have the support of Ms. Arkell, who's teaching it to you, but you'll also have the support of the UT professor. Okay? Um, our goal is that you choose to stay in the class the whole year, even through some of the heart. Like, we're not gonna sit and tell you that this is gonna be an easy class, because it's not. But they have so many um, just extra supports in place to help you get through it, that we want you to learn how to work through some of this hard and survive and do well, and then see that you can, like, I know how to do a poly class, okay? That's, that is our goal. At the end of the course, you have the decision, you have the option where you can say, yes, I'm obviously I have to take the high school class grade, but I don't want the college class grade. So sometimes like if your college grade is, let's say it's a 70, and you don't want that grade on a college transcript, 
then you can say no thank you and deny that college credit. You won't get the college credit, but at least your, your foundation for when you take it at college will be much stronger. But that decision is yours, okay? If you're like, no, because a lot of colleges, when you transfer a grade in, they just turn it to a P, which is passing. And you're like, it, it doesn't really matter that I made a 75 or I feel really good about that 75. And you can choose to accept it. That's up to you, okay? So your high school grade is the one that will go into your high school GPA and rank. Now, in order, once you get started in this class, in order to change, if you choose, you know, I don't want to do this, um, this is too hard, you will have to have a conference with you, your parent, the teacher, and an administrator. And then we would have to discuss, like, are you doing everything you possibly can? Are you going to tutorials? Where, what's the strengths? What's the weaknesses? And then it's a decision by that committee if you're going to be let out or not. Um, if you're taking this for advanced algebra two, then you would automatically go to the on-level algebra two. That would be your only option. But if you're taking this for an independent study fourth math, there is no option for you to jump into. And so if this is your fourth math, you really want to make sure that you know, like I'm gonna stick this out because my purpose is to get prepared for college and get a college credit. But we don't want a lot of fluctuation. Who starts in this class is kind of who we want to finish in the class, okay? Now, one thing I want to make you aware is if you are not passing, so if you fall down to below passing, um, they look at Jan in January, and if you're below passing in January, you get put on something called academic probation as far as UT Texas goes, or the honor program. So how you get yourself off of that is you either take your SAT or ACT, or if you've taken it and your score is, is uh, high enough in math, then you would submit that score to them and they would remove that. That so shows them that you're college ready. Um, or your TSI math score. So if you don't have a TSI, SAT, ACT math score that's high enough to be considered college ready, what they would do is then you would have to go take one of those tests and show that you're, you're college ready, submit the score, and then they take you off of that probation. Okay, so that's their January timeline is if anyone's failing, they want to make sure that you can show that you're college ready and that you have the skills to, to be okay in it. Okay, now you can stay in the class and you can really just focus on doing the high school and just know you're not doing the college and that's kind of that middle. Um, and so there's a lot of different plans in place for kids that maybe are having a hard time, okay? Now, I can't, and Ms. Bartle can't tell you exactly what it's going to look like because next year is going to be the first year doing it. Um, but this is a program that a ton of districts use, and a ton of districts have a lot of success with it. Okay, so it's it's really a great opportunity, and um, if I, I am going to encourage that you read the syllabus, and if you have questions on the math side, it's probably more Ms. Bartle because I don't know any of this. It's like a foreign language. But if you have questions as far as just like the course and the payment and how it works with GPA and stuff like that, then you're more than welcome to come and see me, email me, and I can help you through that stuff, okay? Is, does everybody understand or do we have any questions? Um, yes. So this is obviously a lot of people in this room. Yeah. Yeah. Is it going to be split up into multiple classes? Yes, it will. Okay. So just like Advanced Algebra 2 has like three sections, we will probably have about four sections of this class. Um, and the, the, y'all will be mixed, okay, probably. I don't know nothing else going to be built, but our goal is that it's just, you're all in the same class and you're getting the exact same material. So if you're taking it as Algebra 2 Advanced, or if you're taking it as a fourth math, it doesn't really matter because it's, it's still the same class. So they'll, that'll be mixed together, okay? Any other questions? That was a good question. Because you don't want those three kids in one class. <laughs> Okay, so that's the information. I am going to post this video on our website and I'll actually email it out to y'all and your parents. So if they want information, then they can watch this too and then they can email me if they have questions. All right? Awesome. Thank y'all. If you didn't sign in, please find the sign in. I have a